Hey guys, and welcome back to Star Wars Battlefront 2. We are going to silence the Queen. Yeah, I couldn't really do the glitch thing where the lightsaber doesn't work. I couldn't try it because I would have to play through the entire game again. I might do it later. During the rise of the Empire, the Emperor's home planet of Naboo rapidly established itself as a major irritant. After a number of Naboo's ambassadors were sent home in various states of dismemberment, her newly elected queen broke off diplomatic ties and began exploring military options. Clearly, it was time for a regime change, a change that would be affected by the 501st, now under the direct command of Darth Vader. Our orders were simple, to infiltrate the city, take out their leader, sending a clear signal to other potential troublemakers in the Empire. Okay, so let's get started. Welcome to the capital city of Theed. Tonight, we will be performing a radical destabilization of the Theed government via the elimination of their queen. She is heavily guarded in the central plaza by a group of Jedi and an auto turret grid. In order to defeat these defenses, we must set up a perimeter around the central plaza and shut down the auto turret grid. Careful, soldier. Your numbers are few, and the mission success rests on your shoulders. Alright, so we're pretty low on health already here. But, while I'm doing stuff, I think the reason why I used to get that problem with Anakin's lightsaber in that level is the same thing I might have done when I tried to switch game options objective details off in the first video on Geonosis. I think some quirky things happen if you have the controller plugged in to player 2 for the campaign. Like if I didn't have player 1 plugged in at all, I accidentally plugged in to player 2, which I have done a couple of times in the past few years. <laughs> it might have had something to do with that. Sometimes, I don't know, quirky things happen. And despite our bad start we kind of got off to a better footing here problem is now i might die oh oh move out survival shut up i have to be up here okay probably better anyway there's that shooting from over there can't believe we survived in that one life does this guy get 250 yeah you don't want to go that way or you'll get shot down by an all security grid it's basically not a fun time it's the central plaza that you'd have to go through, so you can't do that. You have to go through here. Unless there's something up there you can use. I doubt it. I think I would have noticed it by now. I mean, that might just be arrogant, but still. Watch out, soldier. The auto turret grid is still. It's just telling me not to go there. Keep you and your men out of the central plaza until we can find a way to shut down the turret grid. Yeah. Telling me not to go to the central area, and I got killed just fine without an auto turret grid. <laughs> All right, keep going. Okay, we're gonna make it. Yeah, we're now playing as the stormtroopers. How exciting! Instead of the clones, we're now obviously the bad guys. Blatantly bad guys. Ah, uh, please stop. Get out. Oh, this is not. Good. Let's not have a terrible take, please. Let's start doing well. Oh yeah, by the way, if you press up on the D-pad, you can give a command like, follow me. Do it again to come move out. Um, I forgot all about that. The only reason I forgot to mention is, basically I never use it, because I don't touch my AI anyway. <laughs> Alright, you guys shoot at some of these people? You know, you only shoot people you can't reach? Is that how you're gonna do it? Come on, Timmy Teacup, let's go. You're doing almost as well as me. Alright, when you get to this point, you know you're pretty much home free. To get, at least to get to the Kamehameha in the first place. By the way, if you shoot basically just above the turret, you can shoot them out. Just happen. And it's not going to let me get this health, of course not. Ah, uh, okay, this is not worth it. Just run in. Well, you ran in front of me. What the hell do you expect me to do? Asshole. Alright, let's heal up before we try to take this. Ammo droid, you're my meat shield. 
or a second shield, whatever you want. We only have eight men left, but or six men left. It's not going well. Get out. We are almost out of reach. Ah, <laughs> that hurts. Hey, at least my men are there now. Probably should have some dark troopers to get there faster. Cause we need to get there faster. We're gonna run out. Two men. Not getting fun. One man, yeah, one man's gonna die before I catch this thing. Are you kidding me? Even if it's not me, it's gonna be someone. Someone's gonna do something stupid. I would be shocked if no one died. Absolutely shocked. Oh my gosh, is this gonna be a miracle? This might be worth. This might be worth all the times I did terrible, stupid things. If I actually fall off this miracle, no. One idiot dies in all of that time if you don't walk here. Could this possibly be? By the way, obviously it says one, but you have more than one man just that when that one guy dies, when any one guy dies, it's game over. So far so good. Same in the multiplayer, but to a less guard post past the embassy. If you need some extra firepower, we've managed to sneak a tank for you at the embassy command post. Watch it wisely. I keep trying not to Interrupt him because you can't hear him and me at the same time. Watch out for this tank that's gonna ambush you. It's a lot less extreme than the oh, please, please, let's steal this. Yeah, get a man to come in here so he mans it and we're good. They can't get in, they're at a disadvantage. Oh, no one's getting this one either. Oh, please, 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 please. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have three tanks here. They're gonna have to dodge. Where are they that they're not doing this? Where's my men? <laughs> what suckers? Are you kidding me? Yeah, that guy's in the turret. I think he's gonna do crap. He's not. These guys are so done. We have three tanks here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what was the thing for all that? Oh yeah, multiplayer is less extreme with the fact that you have one on the tick marks, but you can have one more than one guy. You tend to have maybe like three guys out at once, and then you have one tick mark. But here they just give you all the men, but as soon as one guy dies and two parts of zero, you lose. That's kind of how it works. Now he must destroy works. the auto turret grid console. All right, I can't switch when you're here because it just... destroy it, and the queen will be ours. <sighs> you're not helpful. All right, sniper time. Why? You'll see. Fall back. Now we gotta throw destroy that terminal over there. There's some guys over there too, so we gotta kill them. We do both at once. Yes, you kill some guys. Destroy them. Okay, destroy some guards here. They're not usually marked either. It makes it hard. Oh my god, get out of here. They're the Jedi, obviously. Oh my god, can take it over here? What? Is there? For a second I thought there was a guy up here with me. I was about to get really scared. Oh, that's nice. One shot there. I feel as if not all of them are the ones you need to kill, which makes it easy for me. Oh. I like to hunt with, sni with snipers. It's just, oh. it's not necessarily that I'm better at it, it's just that I like the idea of sniping. Oh, no. No, thank you. And then there's a Jedi over here. I like to. Oh! I hear. <laughs> I didn't notice he was over there. Oh, now I see arrows. So this all about. I was saying something before that happened, and now I can't remember. I'm gonna run out of ammo at some point. Headshot. A certain amount of headshots gets you an award with sniper rifle. Some people think it's not as good, and I tend to agree with them. I prefer their actual sniper rifle. Right, we're running out of sniper shots here to kill the queen with later. That guy's being an idiot now. Yeah. I like to snipe people from up high too. It's kind of better than just sniping them from the same level they are at. It feels kind of stupid. I guess that's just an artistic thing. Kill them with art and style. Yeah, I prefer to be up, but this guy's not gonna get in view here. Oh, he's coming. Let's get up here. So that I have a good view of the queen when she comes out. Why can't we just storm the palace without killing this stupid Jedi guard who's all the way the hell over here? It makes sense to me. Oh! Alright, I need to 
stuff sticking around. It's not coming. Oh! I, uh, I, I put myself on this. Alright, you know what? Enough of this. I'm wasting your time and mine, viewers. The Queen and her royal guard are trying to escape. Quickly. You only need to kill the Queen. Apparently, the Queen's more deadly than I remember her being. No scope? Oh, that's why I like to be up high. Oh, gosh, there's a lot of Jedi. Run, 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 run. Nope. Nope. I can't run. Alright. Oh. Not a good time to reload. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Side swipe. All because I wanted to snipe everyone. I just got what connectors I wanted there. We have seven men left. Perfectly on their head. Are you kidding me? Don't, don't take this moment from me. There we go. We <laughs> with no health now. Service for the Empire. The Queen's death will serve as an example to other nascent rebellions, saving countless lives. How are that? Those not all headshots. With one tick mark left and no health left, we did it, people. With the Queen eliminated, Naboo quickly fell in line. It was the first time the 501st was called upon to adjust a planet's government. But it wouldn't be the last. Within months, the 501st gained a well-deserved reputation as Vader's fist. As opposed to Vader's palm. Alright, not that good with the close to death here. That side swipe with the Jedi was kind of embarrassing. I could have totally avoided that if I was better about myself. But we got survivalist, killing spree, traitor, public enemy, and dead eye. We got half of the, <laughs> we got more than half the awards there are. And we ended it beautifully with a nice headshot. Nice snipe shot from above. Oh, that was beautiful. I uh, still use the blast rifle more than I use the sniper rifle, apparently. And yeah, it did register the frenzy from before, it just didn't show it in the thing before, I guess, just because I haven't gotten it enough yet. Alright, and Frenzy, by the way, is 12 kills for the blaster rifle in one life. Endurance is the first points per life thing, it's 12 points in one life. Guardian is the second with 24 points in one life, and War Hero is 36. Not important, I show that now, but I thought I would because I felt like it, you know. Oh, gotta love this planet. We're doing space battle first, but as you can see, we're doing old Mustafar. No, we don't get to do, obviously, because it's already the Empire, the Obi Wan Anakin battle. Because there wasn't even a battle there other than those two guys. That would have been weird for this game. So that's why that's not included, I guess. Kind of. You can't have every climactic Star Wars battle from Revenge of the Sith on in this game. Wouldn't work. But they should have had Obi 